Hey guys, what's up? Premier Dorsen here. Uh, today we have our own little experiment. I'm gonna try today to boil some uh, BGA chip in the normal uh, car battery acid. This is one liter car battery acid from a store and it cost about uh, one and a half dollar, US dollar. So this is about 30-40% uh, sulfuric acid. So I'm gonna put that on a beaker and uh, on the slowly evaporation. So when I got about 300-400 uh, milliliter uh, liquid, amount of liquid, I'm, I'm gonna put in that some BGA chip and uh, try to remove everything and leave on only leave only for bonding wire. Okay, so let's start with our experiment. Okay, now we're gonna slowly add in this mill in this one liter beaker. For the beginning, I add about 800 milliliter, so I will add the rest uh, when uh, some amount of this liquid uh, evaporate. So now I already turned that, I already turned some heat and uh, we leave that for uh, our row two, okay? Okay guys, I slowly add all the uh, acid from the bottle and uh, this is from uh, 1 liter, I reduce uh, liquid uh, to 400 milliliter, so I think that is uh, enough concentrate sulfuric acid. And because this is a just test, I got 5 pieces of uh, BGA tops, so I'll put that inside and uh, we will see. If, there, if that acid work for a uh, wet ash, okay? See that? I think that that work stuff very good. Okay, now we're gonna leave that and see result on the end. Okay guys, okay. Okay guys, after uh, almost two hours I quit job and I'm not too satisfied because you see that the chip are particle dissolve but not total but not uh, full chip and uh, this other part which is left it's uh, kind of crunchy, but uh, 
look like uh, look uh, like uh, the burn with fire, not dissolved in liquid. I see some gold bonding wire inside, but this is not the way to boil the chip. So I'm gonna wash that right now to see how the chip look like. But I think that this is a unsuccessful experiment. So wet ashing with a car battery acid is not the best way for wet for wet ashing. Okay. After I boil that chip in the evaporate car battery acid, this is after two hours of boiling. This is what I have, and uh, particularly this stuff is dissolved. You see, it's kind of crunchy. And uh, look at that inside. Here I got some low bonding wire. Here, but it's not totally. The stuff is not uh, totally dissolved because uh, that acid is not just uh, strong enough even when I slowly evaporate all the amount from uh, uh, 1 liter to only a 400 milliliter and put only 5 chip inside that stuff is not powerful enough to dissolve this plastic so probably see here go bonding wire so probably if i put some acid right now some aquaregia in that i probably dissolve all that bonding wire so i can tell that this is on a halfway successful experiment but if you ask me I will never use uh, this uh, car battery acid for uh, wet ashing because uh, this stuff is just uh, take too long and uh, it's not powerful enough to dissolve all that you see that exposed gold bonding wire It just look like I burned that with a fire. Then try it. Uh, then try wet ashing because uh, it's overcook or something. I don't know. It's okay. Definitely, I know now that I cannot use. A car battery sulfuric acid uh, wet dash. Okay, guys. Okay, so I hope that you like that experiment. Uh, I like to try a different way and uh, different chemicals for gold recovery always. Uh, and uh, I just uh, wait some nice weather to do this outside. Uh, so now we know that uh, car battery acid is not strong enough, even when you put that on evaporation and uh, you reduce uh, the size uh, it's just not strong enough to eat all that uh, plastic material for uh, BJ tops it even make a bigger mess because uh, if you just put that uh, aquaregia in this form of the on half boiling chip uh, you will just have uh, some black uh, black kind of uh, aquaregia very hard for uh, for filtering and uh, other stuff okay so i hope you like this stuff and uh, if you want more videos like this uh, put in a comment of course subscribe to my channel and uh, see you around in the next video okay guys friend out